Okay, so this video shows you how you can enlarge or reduce the size of anything in virtually any app on Windows, just with a couple of key presses. Hang tight and we'll show you more in a sec. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, this guide shows you how you can virtually enlarge anything or reduce the size of anything in Windows just with a couple of key presses. So if you're in a web browser, say such as Edge, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Brave, etc., virtually any browser I believe this works in, all you need to do is hold down the control key. It might be labeled the CTRL key on your keyboard. Now the CTRL key is in the lower left hand side of your keyboard, probably the key that's furthest to the bottom and the left on your keyboard. So hold that and then press the plus button and just press it once, that enlarges it a little bit more. With the CTRL key or the control key held down, press it again, enlarges it even more. With it again held down, press it again, enlarges it even more than that. Now if you've, if you've gone too far and you want to reduce the size of the text on the screen, hold down the CTRL key or the control key and this time tap the minus button and that reduces the size. So again, hold the CTRL key and tap the minus button and that will reduce the size. And like I say, that works in any browser. Now moving on to other files such as PDF files, let's just go into a PDF. So let's just open Adobe Acrobat. And I've just got this test file now that I can open. So let's just do that. And here we go. This is a guide to setting up OneDrive on your PC. So there we go. So as you can see, it's on the screen there. It's rather small. So let's try and enlarge it. So again, let's try holding down the CTRL key and tap the plus and keep tapping it. And there you go. As I'm tapping the plus, it's getting bigger. Try holding down the CTRL key and tap the minus and there you go that's getting smaller. Now this will work, like I say, in quite a few apps. It's not only on the web, it's not only in PDF files, it does work in other apps too, although not all of them. But it's obviously worth a try if you need to enlarge something on the screen. Now one of the apps I know it definitely doesn't work in is Microsoft Outlook. That's the Outlook that comes with Microsoft Office, such as Office 365, Office 2019, Office 2021, Office 2016, etc. So if you've got the desktop version of Outlook, then it won't work in that. But there's another way you can do it in Outlook. So let's just go into Outlook. And once we're in there, there you go, I've got an email up on the screen. So in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, as you can see here, I've got a zoom in and a zoom out. And as I'm zooming in, it makes the text bigger. Now, if you've not got this in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, then what you can do is, again, you can hold down the CTRL key or the control key on your keyboard and just use the wheel on your mouse. So if you move it up, it will zoom in, let go of the control key. If you hold down the control key again and move it down, it will get smaller. So there you go. If you're using a, uh, a touchpad on your laptop, then obviously you're not gonna have a scroll wheel. But in most cases, the shortcut key for a scroll wheel on the touchpad is two fingers, put two fingers on the touchpad and swipe up or down. I'm just gonna try that. So I'm gonna hold down the CTRL key in the bottom left-hand corner of the keys. And there you go, I've just swiped down and the text got smaller. I'm gonna swipe upwards with two fingers. And there we go, the text is getting bigger. So it's a bit of a black art and every laptop could be different in terms of what what button pushes or what pushes, what fingers you use, should I say, on the touchpad, but it's obviously worth a try. I've got an Acer laptop and on my Acer, it's hold down two fingers and, uh, and swipe them up or down and that is the same as wheeling a mouse. So there you go, that shows you how you can enlarge or reduce the text on virtually any app in Windows. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you.
I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.